All right, uh, I would like to uh, give a message about life in Christ. Life in Christ. Na meron po tayong buhay. Ang buhay po natin, rather, uh, ang buhay po natin ay na kay Kristo, nasa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Now, uh, we are uh, mostly very familiar with the book of Proverbs chapter 31. Uh, especially when uh, uh, Mother's Day comes, Uh, majority of pastors and uh, preachers preach about Mother's Day message. Now, from uh, verses 1 to 9, we can describe a uh, certain mother who molded and encouraged her children with biblical principles. From uh, verses 10 to 31, uh, describes the uh, char characteristics of a mother. And as you can see from, from the verse that we read, these are the words of King Limuel, which, which were given and taught by his mother. As king, uh, I believe there were responsibilities that he had to take and undergo. And uh, uh, I believe the greatest counselor that he had was his mother. A, a mother who taught him how to have fear in God. I believe every parent, mother, father, you know, pastor, uh, alike would uh, teach and encourage their children to have wisdom and knowledge and uh, be receptive to learning from every life situation that they are going to face in life. whether it is positive or negative. And by doing so, they would learn how to be responsible. Now, the good example that I can give is Solomon himself. Solomon saw the bigger picture of what life, of, of what life was because of God's wisdom. And uh, he was aware that life is filled with difficulties and perplexities and, and no one, no one can understand that. Now, from human point of view, according to him, uh, uh, va everything is vanity. However, life is a gift to us. Amen? God, God wants us to enjoy it for his glory. You know, remember when, when David died and, and the responsibility was given to Solomon? Of course, it was not easy to take that responsibility on his part. And I believe some of his siblings were uh, envious about his kingship. That he became the king of the nation of Israel. Now, now Solomon looked at the kingdom and, and what he saw was a great responsibility. And he believed he could not lead and, and serve his people and his kingdom without the power and wisdom of God. You know what? He did not ask to be famous. Huh? Neither ask for wealth nor ask for anything except wisdom. You know why? Because he would like to discern what is right and wrong. You cannot discern what is right and wrong. You cannot see the importance of Uh, the importance of being here on the earth with what like uh, kung anong merong buhay ka, no? You cannot discern it unless God intervenes. And, and when He intervenes, he, he would basically show us its proper direction. The Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, complete, as it is, truly furnished unto all good works. We can find that in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. Now, every word, every word of God, In the Bible is written because God gave it. 
And of course, we believe that every word is true, holy, eternal, uh, and profitable for our learning. And uh, uh, basically enable us to live in Christ and to live with Christ. Now, the wisdom of this word, the Bible says that the wisdom of this word is sensual and deceptive. But the true wisdom that comes from above is pure, peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and hypocrisy, according to James chapter chapter 3, verses 13 to 18. Now, there is no other way that you would know God better than reading and studying His infallible words. We study and meditate them so that we might better know the God of the Word. Amen? There is no other way that you will get acquainted with God apart from knowing Him. Apostle Paul says that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings, being made conformable unto His death. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Now, the more we become like Him, the more God would use us for His glory. Amen? If we just read the Bible, because we are just seeking doctrinal truth, but ignoring who God is, apparently we are, make, we are missing the point. We are missing what the Holy Spirit is telling us. Now, as we look at the book of Proverbs, you know, it is a book of instruction to someone who will take heed God counsel seriously. The Bible says to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give sub subtlety, subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain and to wise counsel. We can find that in Proverbs chapter 1, verses 2, 2 to 5. Now, there are several important principles that every mother, father, uh, parent, uh, who is godly, should be teaching their children. And I, and I believe this is also applicable to anyone, especially uh, to us as a believer in the Lord. And, and one of the teachings that we should teach our children is the sanctity of life. Now, in this life, without the Lord Jesus Christ, life is meaningless and lifeless. Now, look at verse 2. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows now, the, I, I, I believe I am, a, uh, I am a father, I am a parent. I believe the first thing that I, I have to teach my children is the uh, sanctity of life. You know why? Because there is a sacredness and virtue to human life which set us apart from all other life. Why did I say that? Because we are God's creation. Thus, we value the importance of life. Now, my question is, how will you value, how will we value the importance of life? Now, I believe we should live the way as the Lord leads us. Amen? Now, now in verse 2, we can, we can find here the word, the son of my womb, the, the origin of life. Now, as I said, human life is sacred. And I believe it is a gift from which is to be respected and protected. Now, the Bible teaches that human beings are created in the image of God. But it was gone when, when men fell into sin. And, and that image returns when we have the Lord Jesus Christ, when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's why we as believers, uh, uh, we believe basically uh, that only God should choose when life begins and ends. 
Why? Because we just borrow that life. Thus, we have to look after it. You know, we are created beings. Hindi tayo, uh, uh, ang tawag dito, hindi tayo putok sa buho. Di po ba? Hindi tayo basta sumulput lang. Ha? Huh? We are not an accident. Uh, from eternity, from eternity, pinlano na ng Diyos yan. It is God who planned you from eternity. And, and God prescribed every single detail of your body. Can you imagine that? From head to toe. Ha? He knows what you are thinking right now. Di po ba? Alam niya ang nilalaman ng iyong puso. He deliberately chose you, you know, uh, 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 hindi, hindi aksidente na ikaw ay Pilipino o ako ay Pilipino o siya ay Amerikano o siya ay Australiano. You know, uh, yung color ng ating skin, uh, yung color ng ating buho. Di po ba? Uh, walang illegitimate children. Amen? You know what? Many children are unplanned by their parents. But they are unplanned by God. Uh, the Bible says, Long before you were conceived by your parents, you were conceived in the mind of God. Kaya nga sabi sa Psalms, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works, and my soul knoweth right well. You know, nakakalungkot sapagkat marami mga tao na hindi sila satisfied kung anong, kung anong itsura meron sila. Ha? Kaya yung iba, yung iba nagpaparitokin ng muka, nagpaparitokin ng muka, ano po, kaya pag nagparitokin sa muka, ng muka sa Pilipinas, hindi na makabalik sa Australia kasi pagtingin ng, pagtingin ng immigration sa kanilang passport, iba na ang itsura. You know, salamat sa Panginoon at uh, tayo po ay uh, may ganitong uri ng, ng mukha pagharap natin sa salamin. Ano po, that's why uh, dapat masatisfy tayo dyan. And, and one thing that, that uh, this is the principle. The principle that we can see here is that life is sacred. And, and we are created by Almighty God. And that life begins in the womb. Amen? The Bible says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou uh, camest forth out of the womb, sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, beloved, life is so precious in the eyes of God. Life is so precious in the eyes of God. That's why putting your life into your hands is a great sin before Him. That is why the Bible condemns abortion. That is why the Bible condemns someone who uh, commits suicide. You know? Now, what is your life? What is your life? The Bible says, Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, then vanisheth away. Now, binabed, mga kapatid, let me ask you something. How do you see your life? How do you see your life? Now, if you are a believer, the way you look at life is quite different the way the unbelievers look at it. For the unbelievers, success determines on what they have or what they possess. Now, life for them become, meaning, uh, become meaningful when it fulfills what they have. And when they don't fulfill it, they would say, life is like a wheel. Sometimes you are up and sometimes you are down. Now for us, I believe, even though we are down, we're still happy. Because, you know why? Because it is not the circumstances that will determine, that, that will determine us to be happy. It is the joy that we have in Christ that will determine us to be satisfied in this world. You know, remember Apostle Paul, even when he was in prison, he could be able to manage to uh, to encourage other believers and telling them that in Christ he was satisfied. Huh? 
That's why he said in the book of Philippians, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly, now that uh, at the last you care of me hath flourished again, wherewith ye were also careful, but ye lack opportunity, not this I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am. This is what he said. There will to be content. I know both how to be abased everywhere in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. And then he said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Now indeed in Christ we are satisfied. Indeed in Christ there is satisfaction. You know we always heard the quotation says that only Christ can satisfy your soul. You know are you tired in this life? You know the answer is Christ. You know uh, we cannot deny the fact that every day we are facing problems. Are you tiring of facing them? You know the Bible says in 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 Matthew chapter chapter eleven verse twenty eight. Uh, if you are tired, just come 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 to me, and I will give you rest. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us. You know, First Peter chapter five verse seven. Cast all your care on me, because I care for you. You know, there is no other person who will care uh, for you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone, everyone. Uh, uh, will abandon you but not the Lord Jesus Christ now for us it's quite different our success is completely relying upon him as we rely upon his word yeah, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor seated in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord in his law that he meditate day and night and, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The leaves are not withered, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen? That's why when we, when we look at life, we basically, we look upon God's perspective in our lives. Because it will determine our expectation, values, relationship, our goals, and even our priorities. Now, I am not saying we are not going to experience testing and problems in life, just like what I said a while ago. As a believer, we know it's significant. We know it's significant of being in Christ. That is why every day, it is an important day for us. Amen? That's why we have to treasure every moment of your life, of my life, to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. When you are in Christ, you are going to see the value of life. When you are in Christ, you are going to see how important your family. You are going to see how important your work is. You are going to see how important your ministry. You are going to see how important those people whom you are dealing with. Every second, every minute, every hour is important. And we are not going to waste time. Amen? You are not going to waste time. Now, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 16 to 17. See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Why? Because, re because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding. Understanding what the will of the Lord is. By the way, thank God. You know why? Because when you woke up this morning, when I wake up, when I woke up this morning, we're still alive. Amen? Thank God for His grace. One day at a time for Jesus. Now, Life without Jesus is nothing. Life without Jesus Christ has no purpose at all. Amen? The Bible says, and this is a record that God had given to us, eternal life. And this life is in His Son. Now, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Now, beloved, I want you to know the purpose, the greatest purpose of life is first to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I got saved when I was uh, 24 years old back in 1983. You know what? Uh, kapag, uh, if I'll tell you my personal testimony because I grew up, I was born in Olongapu City. 
You know, I saw, I saw the system of the world. Nakita ko po kung ano po ang mundo. And I just thank the Lord for saving my soul. You know, dumating ako sa puntong napagod ako eh. Sa buhay. At the age of 24. You know, bata pa ako ko noon. At the age of 24, maaga ako napagod. Maaga ako nag-isip kung ano ang kung ano ang buhay. Ano po? And God is so God is so gracious for saving my soul. Amen. Kaya nga po, magkakaroon lamang ng buhay 'yan. Magkakaroon lamang ng ng uh, uh, fulfillment ang buhay mo kapag ikaw ay nakai Kristo. When you have Christ, you have fulfilled everything. Because no one can satisfy you apart from Him. Now, if you are in Christ, uh, kay Pastor De Vega ko po yata narinig ito. <laughs> uh, good morning po, uh, Pastor De Vega, Bishop De Vega. Uh, sabi niya, I think, sa kanya ko po narinig ito eh. If you are in Christ, you are always a winner. Ano po? Di ba? Walang, walang talo, walang talo. Sabi ni Pablo, for me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians chapter 1. Verse, uh, verse 21. You know? Now listen. Our Christian journey starts with the new birth. But it doesn't end, end up there. Uh, I, I believe God has provided all we need to fulfill His purposes for our lives. God has saved us from, from hell because He has a wonderful purpose in our lives. And without God's purpose, everything comes to nothing. And we have to ask ourselves, why we are here? Why I am here? What, uh, what, uh, what am, am I doing here? What do you want me to do? Diba yun ang tinanong ni Pablo eh? You know, ni, ni, ni Saul. When he was on his way going to Damascus. And then personally, he met the Lord Jesus Christ. And then the first question that he asked, What do you want me to do? Now, I believe without a clear purpose, we don't have a strong foundation on which we base our decisions. Why did I say that? Because many people don't know the purpose of life. They don't know why they exist. Many people focus on things which are not eternal. And, and we are told to set our affection on things above. Things which are not uh, temporal but eternal. And, and what people fail to realize in this life is that this life is temporal. What shall it profit a man? Even he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Uh, good morning. Good morning, uh, uh, Pastor uh, Ferdinand. Uh, Marazigan, good morning po What shall it profit the man Even he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul You know, let me ask you something What will you live for? What will you live for? Who are you going to live for? No, uh, Paul has definite answer for that He said, I am crucified with Christ Nevertheless I live, yet not I But Christ liveth in me And the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God He who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans chapter, uh, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, Romans chapter uh, 12 verses 1 and 2, I, I beseech you therefore brethren by the, mercy of the, by the mercies of God that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this word, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Ano po? Ano po? Ano po ang Bakit tayo nandito? Ano po? Tayo po ay nandito sapagkat meron pong layunin, meron pong purpose ang Panginoon. Sabi nga ng isang quotation, alam po natin to, only one light will soon be passed, but what you have done for Christ will last. Amen. Nothing to lose when you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. Now, uh, ito pong, 
ating devotion study, nais ko pong uh, mag-iwan ng isang uh, a very basic very basic principle ano po, ngayong umaga. Now, we have to remember that Christ came so that we might have life abundantly. Amen? John chapter 10, verse 10. And, and I believe life is not in vain. No, that's why we as believers, we have to grab the opportunity uh, while we have strength, serve God faithfully. Ano po? Uh, wala tayong sasayanging uh, moment to serve Him. You know, life is short for those who haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This life will pass away, but there is eternity to live in. Kaya, if you don't have Christ in your heart, I believe this is the time for you to realize the fact that you need a Savior and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word will never pass away. Let's, let's grab the opportunity while we are here that there is, there is a purpose. God has a wonderful purpose why we are here. That's why Apostle Paul says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain, is not in vain before the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Beloved, uh, this is all for now. And uh, my prayer is that somehow... Uh, uh, na, na encourage po kayo na uh, meron tayong mga uh, good insight uh, from the word of God. Amen? And uh, we will close this in prayer. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Pastor De Vega, Pastor Marasigan, Pastor Datoy, uh, Pastor Sam Ramos, uh, all the pastors. Pastor Jess Marasigan, of course. Thank you so much for uh, giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity that I can uh, share a uh, uh, share a, a wonderful message from the Lord Himself. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Once again, uh, we are grateful for what you have done for us today. Thank you so much, Father, for giving us this wonderful moment. And uh, my prayer is that somehow everything that we we heard will be putting into practical living. Thank you, Lord, for this mo for this wonderful time that we have together with the brethren. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right. Uh, maraming salamat po. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor uh, Pastor Jess. Maraming maraming salamat. Amen. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. Okay. God bless you all po. God bless you all. Amen. Salam.